Hey everyone, I'm not a rock star, and I'm abusing this robot. Okay. Oh, that looked trippy for a second. I thought I, thought I fell through the floor there. But, hey everyone, I'm not a rock star, and this is Super Mario Galaxy. So, last time, we finished off Sea Slide Galaxy, or finished off Golden Leaf Galaxy, and did all of Sea Slide Galaxy. So, this time, we're going to head right into this new galaxy, which is Toy Time Galaxy. Okay. Oh, that means I have to play with the fun power-up. Anyone that's played this game knows what the fun power-up is. Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. Okay. This one, I have to use the fun power-up, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. So, we start off here on this cool train station. Um, okay, I was gonna try and rush that, that was not gonna work. Okay. Well, time to just sit on this train and wait for my arrival at the station. Okay, Mario cannot crouch fast enough for that. I tried to do it to the music, but <laughs> that just didn't work. So, we head down here, and we've got some Mecha Koopas. They don't die to jumps, you have to ground pound them if you want to take them down. So, we're just gonna head on to this gravity flippy stuff. Um, do we have to unscrew this nail? Um, no, but it gives us a fun hidey hole. That's cool. Um, oh, what? <laughs> okay then. Um, we're gonna head on to this other flippy gravity stuff. Um, no, no, okay. I'm gonna give this a spin if I can get on it. There we go. Give it a spin and it stops and makes a nice ring of star bits. You can grab all those. And then we can spin this cage. To unleash the launch star. Oh, what? I got trolled. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the ground and I thought it was all gonna be gravity sticky ground. I guess Bowser got me. Also, that Mecha Koopa just got me. He interrupted my <laughs> long jump. Ah, oh, this is... That's just unfortunate. But I feel like when I die to something stupid, I end up doing a double stupid death. I don't know if I'm just making that up, I probably totally am, to make myself feel better for dying twice there. But if anything, it shouldn't make me feel better, because <laughs> that means that I just always die twice. And that just sounds not great. Also, that was a strange interaction that was happening there. But, we're gonna flip this. Um, this time I'm going to be smart and go over here. Does unscrewing this move it over? No. Oh, maybe I have to go on here then. No. I I just have to- wait, can I drop down here? Yes. Oh, oh, there's just a spring. Actually, there's probably something back here. I'm not dumb. Oh. Yes. Okay, that is what I needed to do. <laughs> I was about to long jump into this wall, and it might have worked, but it most likely would have resulted in a death point. But we're gonna shoot through that giant chute, and get onto this spot. Oh yeah, it's fun power-up time. We grab this coin, and the spring mushroom spawns. So spring, mu spring Mario is very annoying to control, and you have to do big jumps by pressing the A button. Uh, this is not fun. Uh, don't hit me, Mr. Laser Man. I move way too slow. Oh, okay, okay. Now big jump. Oh, no. Oh, those wall jumps he does are like a lot of the reason he's annoying to control. Because right here, in this section, if you do a wall jump like that in a bad spot, you just kind of fall into the void. Uh, right now, yeah, we need the spring again. And we gotta get into this little bottle here. 
Uh, no. How about now? Yeah, you can still ground pound as a spring. So, at least you have that to kind of stop your momentum if you need to. But, here we are, on the Mecha Bowser. That's what this was, right? I don't remember. It's been like, what, four minutes since I read the title? <laughs> That's way too long to remember anything. But we're gonna spin these screws, head through this pipe, it gives you a warp to the other one. And when you spin in both screws, it gives you a little sling star. Oh, we can get up to the next point of the Mecha Bowser here. We gotta keep unscrewing all of his parts, watching out for this fire bar he has on him for some reason. That doesn't seem very safe. Oh. So upon spinning that last one, it reveals this ground right here. Ah, we need to go into the lower section. So we go here, through this pipe. It takes us over to this section. And we gotta- oh! <laughs> okay. I'm safe. We gotta ride up this motorized hand. So we go over here. Why is there a bat here? That seems very out of place for toy time. But, anyways, ignoring the bats, we can get to the base of the arm and find out that it was only held on by one screw. I mean, I guess that would make it easy for the arm to rotate, but it also makes the arm seem not that stable, you know? Like, that seems like a big thing to rely on the weight, like, to rely on one uh, screw to hold up. But there's also this um, magic Koopa here that's very annoying to deal with, but we just kind of snuck past it, doing repeated big bounces. And then we got a ground pound through that giant tower, crushing his entire core and causing him to explode. That's pretty violent. But I mean, having a massive weak point like that, you're just asking for it to get destroyed. And now all these people we were trying to save are now dying, because they were just <laughs> inside a mecha bowser that exploded. I don't know if we can really call ourselves a savior anymore. Uh, we don't have to deal with the repercussions of that. We don't live in that galaxy at all. <laughs> um, back into toy time. What else does it have? I think there's like a cake arena boss fight with the spring that's very annoying. And then... Mario meets Mario. Oh, is this like you go on the 8-bit Mario and collect silver stars? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Oh, that reminds me of a terrible star. Oh, no. I have to do that. Huh. Okay, then. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna run onto the train tracks. Can I? Oh, I can. I don't even need the train this time. Haha. <laughs> Grab all the star bits I can. And we are on this weird suction gun thingy. And ow. And we gotta grab some star pieces. Oh, that laser went a lot farther than I expected it to. Okay, so is there one on this side? Maybe? No. Just jump over the amp. And I see one just up here go on the spring to reach that. I probably need the spring for that. Oh, I saw a hungry Luma. Oh. <laughs> Do you want 40 star bits or more? Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Hey you, yeah, you got any tasty star bits? If you need a bunch of star bits, I'll... Uh, 50. I do not have enough. Okay. Away I go. Um, you can ground pound on these guys to get star bits, right? No. Okay, well, there's some just randomly on the ground here. Really, I just walked into that guy. <laughs> okay, well, we're just gonna keep on moving, see if we can find some more star bits. Ah, we found coins. That's arguably more valuable right now. Uh, that's not quite what I'm looking for. 
Um, no, that's just another star piece. Am I just gonna be that many short? Do I just need to grab more during the fly-in section? Okay, then. I guess we'll get this one, um, another time when we're- when we repeat this level. So we're gonna fly through. Wait, do we already head on to the Mario? Wow, I thought there was like another planet we had to go on to. But nope, we have to collect the five silver stars. And the green bits, as you know, disappear when you step on them. These um, yellow ones, when you step on them, they start rotating. And the red stuff, if you couldn't tell, is lava. So you gotta navigate carefully, making sure you always have a path to follow so that you don't get stuck somewhere. And they even added an M on his cap in Star Bits, that's kind of a nice detail. But, uh, that mission's not all too bad. You can get all five power stars, or all five silver stars, to make the power star. And we just have to return back where we came from. So jump here, go here, long jump. And a long jump should make it right into the star. So, I guess I will see you guys right back at the Hungry Luma. And I'm back with 51 star bits. I'm quite the overachiever, I know. <laughs> oh, we actually needed 50. <laughs> I, th I thought it needed 40. I only had one more than I needed, wow. That would have been embarrassing if I cut back and didn't have enough. Well, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have just not cut back and hid my mistakes, but I would have shown it because it would have been funny. But he transforms into... what? Oh, do I have to, like, hit switches? Um, yes, I have to hit switches and there's some talks boxes going around, okay. So, this one's a safe spot, so I can just kind of rush in without caring. And there is a green gear thing over here. Is this thing 3D? Okay, yes. I was kind of scared to check. <laughs> but I realized that I wasn't really getting anywhere. Just not trying, so I was like, hey, I guess I'll do it. Okay, that seems like... Um, oh no, there's probably one on that side too that I missed. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go there. Okay. We're going to go all the way back around. Because there's probably one on that side I didn't see. Oh, I pressed this one again. I'm kind of dumb. Let me just hit that and then keep going. I think, is there something on the bottom side of this one or no? No, there's not. Okay. So I guess I'll just jump right onto this one. This guy's here. Okay, there's some here that I need to press. So he's just guarding these three. I can press those and then keep going. Um, I saw some over here, which means I'll have to watch out for- Okay, no, it's not a tox box this time, it's just these moving spiky things. From that one galaxy that I died way too many times on, and I'm still embarrassed about. Um, there's probably one here where these things are, yep. Okay, I'll just hit these three, or these two, then once it moves, I'll go back to get the third. And here's the last ones. Boop. And there we go. Oh, the star's back there. Okay. Well, guess I gotta backtrack. Oh, once you completed everything, or well, these things freeze, the tox boxes don't. So we can just kind of repeatedly long jump. And... Oh, I almost cool guy long jumps that. But we got the Hungry Luma star. So now, time for the final normal star, at least, in Toy Time, which I'm pretty sure is a boss battle in the arena of a cake. I'm not quite sure, though. Again, that could totally be a Mario Galaxy 2 star. Oh, no, actually, I have to do a fast foe comment. What kind of fast foe comment would it want me to do? Because I don't think you can do fast foes of, like, alternate stars like the Hungry Luma ones. Or can you? Oh, maybe it's for Mario meets Mario and the spinny things go faster. Uh, fast foes of toy time. That does not give me any info. Oh no, you can do it for one of these stars. I didn't know that. Hmm. Well, 
the tox boxes and stuff didn't give me much trouble last time, so I don't imagine they will, like, even if they're faster. So this is a safe spot, I can just kind of chill here. Um, I'll have to go all the way around. Then head on down to the bottom, right here. Then keep going. I'm gonna have to flip back up here. Sneak there, get that, sneak out. That was probably pretty close, because I assume you can get squished by the side corners of these things. I did this again, wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to wait for that. Um, but now, we can head on to this section. This guy, I'd say, is the last real challenge of the level. I could see this guy actually being difficult. So I'm gonna wait here for him to crush me, then sneak around. And I don't see these things being a problem, because they are not instant death. Ow. <laughs> I don't see them being a problem. I instantly get hit. Okay, I had to do that. Well, there we go. Past the first one. Get up. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. Now I can go here. Jump. That thing moves under me, and I get this. And this should be the last one. Yeah, the pipe's right there. And there we go. Yeah. Fast foe didn't really matter much there. It just made me more worried that I was gonna die on the corner of the tox boxes. I don't- I mean, I bet it's possible, but I don't know for sure. So we're just going to... Again, keep long jumping. And I'm going to try and center myself, so that when I do this long jump, I land right on the star like a pro. You see, the whole point of that mission all along was just so that I could get redemption on that long jump into the star. It wasn't for like a challenge or anything. It was said I could look really cool. <laughs> That's 75. Wow. And now we can head into the last normal star of toy time. Which, once again, I assume, or well, I'm pretty sure, is a boss arena. That's a cake. And you fight a boss. I think it's like the one in Golden Leaf, right? Bouncing down cake lane. Well, there's definitely cake in this. Um, no, I- Oh, yes, I was right! Haha, -ha. it is kind of like the gold leaf one, because it's got, like, the same guy. But this time, instead of shooting water, he shoots electricity. So I did remember this. Whoa. Okay, but here we go. Someone was eating star bits. They got him right on their spoon there. And, more of everyone's favorite power-up, the spring. We can wall jump up this, which, I mean, to be fair, is kind of cool looking. Why did it just stop working? Okay, never mind, it's not cool anymore. It's actually pretty lame. Okay, there we go. Jump over this gap, I don't want to fall down again. Oh, big jump did not work there. So, you gotta move down this, um, conveyor belt here. Making sure to do big jumps over top of these chocolate bars. Also, oh, this coin gives me so many star bits to collect. And we can just jump down straight onto this orange cake, probably. And we gotta go along this rotating platform, making sure we don't fall in any of the holes, and also dodging the forks that manage to scrape through the cake without actually ruining the pattern. That's pretty impressive. Okay, watching out. The You can't see those holes until they get past the wall, and at that point they're very close to you. But it wasn't a problem. And now we're on an ice cream cone and the, <laughs> the cold music plays. That's a nice touch. We gotta go along these popsicles, um, onto this, um, 
lollipop coaster of death. This thing shoots lasers in threes, I guess. And we gotta sneak along that like an expert. If you're skating like super fast, you might be able to go over those holes, but also if you want to be cool, you can jump over it and look awesome. So, you choose. Uh, we can just get through this whole ice area without knowing what to say. And get in the launch star. Off we go, on to the boss arena? No, the boss arena prep. Um, I'm going this way, this is the cooler way. I mean, actually, the other way might lead to, like, a life room or something. I'm gonna check. Um, it actually leads to a... pipe. This has intrigued me. Ah, uh, it's a star bit room, I've been bamboozled. Now I have to climb up the cake again. Oh, thumb slipped off the control stick and I almost died. Sneak past that. Oh, if you spin into them, they flip. Let me test this. Can you jump on them if you do that? No, you still have to ground pound them to kill them. Okay. So it's not that interesting. Um, okay, that's just a coin in there. Uh, yeah, that does turn into the star bits. Do I have to kill both of these guys? Or all three of these guys, I guess? There's one more down here. Qua. No. Then, is there something in these crystals that I don't see? Oh, do I have to put out the candles? Yes, it made a noise. Okay. Fourth try is the charm. Or was that third try? I think it was third try. So, it, the saying's actually correct. Third time's the charm. Wow. Who the thunk? Ooh, now we go into boss arena. So, he's on very tall tower. How do you reach him? Well, inquisitive viewer. I'll have you know that we use everyone's favorite power-up. The spring. Wait, these balls of electricity are homing? What? That's me. Okay, I'm not gonna grab that life stream because I don't think I need it. And we're gonna ground pound right onto him. Jump up. Ground pound again. <laughs> oh. If I remember right, he can turn his, um, thing he's on electri- Oh, that he can electrify it, yeah. So, it'll end right about now. Wow, that was perfect timing. <laughs> and we can end off that fight really cleanly. Wow. I thought the cake started spinning or something. But I guess not. So now, all we have to do is jump up and collect our star, please. 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 Collect. Collect our star. No. <laughs> collect our star. <laughs> Col collect our star. I swear I wasn't purposely messing that up to get- <laughs> to make the spring seem worse than it is. That actually just sucked and made me look very stupid. Well, um, we still have some time. Let's do the question mark block galaxy to end off the episode. Then all we have left in the, um, whole engine room is the Hungry Luma and the Bowser Galaxy. So, um, it's time for Bonefin Galaxy, which I don't remember at all. Kingfin's Fearsome Waters. Doesn't tell me anything. Is this another Murder All the Eels level? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. That's what it looks like. Or maybe it's murder skeleton eels. Um, okay, that's a spooky camera view. I don't like that. Okay, I was sort of right, it's murder skeleton. Okay, well I see a shell down here. 
I'm assuming I need to throw that at the literal X on his shin. Wow, I just hit him. Oh my. Okay, the shell should respawn. Yeah, it's right there. I assume there's also red shells I could look for, but a green shell works, because my aim is perfect. Throw it now. Uh, my aim is perfect. <laughs> but we have another shell I can grab. I want to grab an air bubble too while I'm at it, so that I don't run out. Uh, okay, there he is. I was about to question where he went, but then I found him. Wah! Okay, there we go. Really, I got hit twice. He's now probably mad at me. Which means I'm gonna <laughs> start being chased. Oh, there's these guys as well. I hate these things. They're very spooky. Oh! Just throw it now. Okay, for a second I thought that didn't hit. I was about to be very mad. Okay, get away. No, I shook one too many times. Oh, okay. Yeah, now he's even more angry. And even more of these things are gonna spawn. Um, I need to go up for air. Oh, do not- Oh, okay. I couldn't get far down enough. <laughs> I just got eaten by that skeleton shark. How's he even gonna digest me? I don't think he can. Well, round two. I've got him this time. And I think that was actually one of the- f one of, if not the first time I died due to hitting zero life. I think a lot of the time I just fall into the void because I try and do a stupid jump <laughs> and mess up. So congrats to you, Mr. Bonefin. Or King- was he King Finn? Because it was- it's named Bonefin Galaxy, but it was like King Finn something something or other. That's a great level title, King Finn something something or other. But we've hit him once. The skeleton fish are gonna spawn. Also, I did see a red shell. Um, but now my camera's been shifted to look at him, so I don't know where it was. Um, well, I guess a green shell will have to do. Um, I also need some air, please. Thank you. Oh, there he is. I was about to turn around and look for him. What? Oh, okay. Oh, I still hit him. Okay, I see the- I see the red shell. Oh, wait, did I not hit him? I swear I saw the damage thing happen. I guess not. But we've got a red shell, so we can't miss. Ow. Oh, there's a light shroom right there. That would probably be useful. I would like to grab that if I don't die. Get the life shroom. Get, get the life shroom. Don't miss the life shroom. I don't think I can go back for it now. There's probably a bunch of homing things looking for me. Okay. I have successfully juked them. Grab the stupid thing, Mario. Thank you. Okay. That doesn't change the fact that I need air, so I've got to grab that before I deal the final blow. Hopefully. No? Oh, come on. Okay then. That was gonna be very cool. Let's find him. I think he was behind me, but I'm gonna need a safe time to turn around so I don't slam into him. Yeah, he's here. And it's time to deal the final blow. Oh, come on, it's not that hard. Okay. I gotta find another shell. There we go. Right there. Deal the final blow. That actually hit him. Wow. <laughs> I guess he swam into it. Well, thank you for willingly dying, I guess. He kind of didn't hurt me once. He just kind of, like, got enemies to do it for me. So, I feel like I should feel bad for killing him, because he kind of made the scary skeleton fish come at me. But also, he didn't try and hurt me, which is kind of nice. Except for the time he killed me. I guess he did try and hurt me. And he hit me multiple times, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. He is very mean, and I do not like him. But, with that star out of the way, I think we're going to end things off here. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy. We're going to do both the Hungry Luma and the Bowser level. 
finishing off the entire engine room. So, see you guys then.